Hey, how you doing out there, YouTube? This is a follow-up video on the uh, bright light, or the bright object, in the uh, southwestern sky. Um, first, before I say anything, I'd like to thank everybody for all the messages, all the information, and all the comments that I received. I was amazed at how this video went around and how many people put their input in and gave me their insight. Uh, I couldn't believe it. It was unreal. I just want to thank everybody. Everyone, thank you for, uh, for putting your input in. You know, I, I think that's awesome. Uh... I'm going to start by, by putting in uh, a lot of the theories that people put out there. Here's some of the theories I heard. Um, I heard the new, the new Chinese space station. I heard the Russian space station. I heard uh, that it was a, because they put something on our space station, the IRAS telescope, the Hubble Space Telescope, a comet, Nibiru. Uh, it, it's not Nibiru, believe me. I can assure you those who think this is a near, Nibiru, it, it's not Nibiru. Um, I heard it was Mercury. I heard it was Jupiter. Um, I got a bun I got a couple of links to websites saying that it was serious. Uh, well, one in particular saying it was serious, where it went on to explain how serious was one of the brightest stars in the sky. But then it dro it drops down below the horizon, and then then Venus is the brightest star in the sky. And uh, Venus is eight times brighter than Sirius. And I got a lot of links that led to extremely credible websites that lead me to believe that the star in the sky is in fact Venus and that it's going through a phase or a cycle. And uh, if, if you look at Venus through binoculars, uh, it can actually go through phases much like the moon, like the half moon or the full moon. There's even a video up here that I saw of that. Um, I'll put it in my favorites so if you guys are interested you can go look. Um, but, but I saw that and... Uh, I want to thank Celt2012 for calling his friend at the observatory who, who confirmed that it was in fact Venus and I'm going to believe a, a regular citizen that works at an observatory who tells me that it's Venus because I don't think he's working for the government if he's talking to you. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm going to have to go with Venus. Um, all, all logical information points towards that. If, if for some unknown reason there's a, a celestial body outside in the solar system that's reflecting light off Venus, maybe that's why it's so bright. I don't know, maybe there's a whole bunch of disinformation on websites, who knows? Anything's possible uh, in this world, it seems, nowadays. But uh, I'm going to have to go with that. It, ma it makes the most sense, it really does. And if anybody can show me anything where Venus is, and then this bright star, you know, show me Venus, and then this, this bright star, well, then that'll just, you know, prove me wrong in a lot of other websites and observatories and stuff. But uh, just so you guys know... You know, I'm, I'm going to have to lean towards Venus. Um, if I were Batman, that's what I'd bet. I'd bet it was Venus. Uh, but thank you, everybody. Uh, I, I want to leave you guys with this. I, I've been sending this around to people. It's one of my, uh, my favorite quotes. And it goes, A wise man says only a fool is certain of anything. I'm going to let you guys think about that. Be safe, keep it real, keep truthing, and uh, thank you for watching. Peace.